Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to the road trip. Manchester United taking on Sheffield United tonight. And we better not mess this up. I don't know what to expect from the team anymore, as we saw at Coventry. So you don't know what Man United were going to get. But I have seen a lot of you saying Flex is getting a bit miserable now. Flex is getting a little bit negative and I don't like this version of Flex and stuff like that. So you know what? I'm going to take your advice. I'm going to listen to you guys in the comments. OK, and I'm going to forget. Well, not forget, not forget. You can't forget. But I'm not going to not be realistic, but I need, you know, you're the community. You guys know me best. You see me week in, week out, day in, day out. And you can notice, you can notice if I'm going too far left or too far right. And it is your right. It is your right. It's your community. It's your right to say, Flex, come on, come on, stop being silly now. And I don't, I don't think I've been overreacting. I think what I've been saying has been justified with what we've been seeing. I really, really do. However, in terms of facing Sheffield United at home, you still have to believe we're going to win the game. I, that is true. That, that is true. But because we do such mad stuff, is it going to be nice and easy? No. Will we probably concede a goal? Yes. Um, but we should get out with, uh, with, a, <laughs> with a win against Sheffield United. But that's honestly how I feel. Honestly, that's that's... That's honestly um, how I feel about the situation. So I can't lie to you. One thing I won't do is compromise, you know, how I feel and lie. I can see some of your, you know, um, opinions and stuff and go, OK, maybe so and so's got a point there. I'm never afraid to check myself. But what I won't do is just lie. Um, so, yeah, um, it look, Eric Ten Hag said we're going to have to be more creative with the team, maybe very creative and put some players in other positions. Now, we, me and Owen spoke about it in the morning show and I'm like, well, to be honest, um, you Casemiro, we know, has got to play centre-half. But other than that, I mean, what you're talking about is, is Ahmad going to have to play somewhere else different? Uh, the players that he thought might be back because he said he thinks Ganacho and Bruno will be all right. But, you know, Rashford and, and McTominay, not so much. Um, if Bruno doesn't make it, then then what does that mean? Where, you know, could Ahmad come in in the 10? That's, that's out of position for him. He had to play there for a little bit at Wembley. Could it be that? Um... I don't really see what else. I, I mean, there's, there's obviously the, the, the youngsters who who won the league last night against Man City, which is fantastic for them. But a lot of the youngsters were taken off at half-time. The ones that have been um, uh, in the first-team squad because they're being expected again to give us numbers because we're so threadbare. Um, so those kids are probably going to be on the bench again. Could we see a debut for Harry Amas as well? That would be that would be nice. Um, if, if the game's won and we can bring him on late. Or, I mean, if we get another injury... Touch would we don't, but during the game early, you'd have to come on earlier because there's not there's no options now. We are in that situation where if someone picks up an injury during the game at the back, one of them kids will have to play. Um, it's as simple as that. So yeah, I mean, I I I'm expecting the way the way Ten Hag was moving in the press was like it's not just Casemiro that's going to be playing centre half. It isn't. Um, and also there's where we stand in the league now. Look, it, it is completely about. It's just putting as many points on the board as we can. Like, in terms of... the Champions League's not a thing anymore. Europe, it, you know, it is what it is. Um, and and make it... And, and all we can do in the league, because you can't just give up everything, all we can do in the league is try and put as many points on the board as pop possible and at least, as a minimum, avoid our worst ever finish. That's That's the challenge in the league, isn't it, really? Like, let's be real. Like, you can't... You can't really you know, say anything more than that. You can't expect more than that. Your task now, because as the season goes, your objective changes, and we've been that bad in the league that all we've got now in the league is to say your task now is to avoid our worst ever finish, which is what? Lower than sixth, isn't it? That would be eighth. Did we finish seventh one time? Where did we finish under Moyes? Weren't that seventh? Anyway, avoid our worst ever finish. That's That's the target in the league. And of course, it's all eyes on... The FA Cup final, when that comes around, you know, we have to believe we can win. We have to try and get players back and get a bit of form going into it. But the the the, the, the fixture list has handed Man United after, you know, what should be points or wins that we should have got quite easily, which we didn't. You know, after the Coventry debacle, the fixture list says you've got the two bottom two teams at home in consecutive games in, in a matter of a week. Go and get six points. Because I'll tell you what, the next batch of games coming up, yeah, in our running, which, again, we're not really looking at Lee, but if you're looking at the degree of difficulty in the games, are tough. Crystal Palace away, haven't done too well there recently. 
You've got, um, obviously, Arsenal at home. You've got Brighton away last day of the season. Who else do we have? We've got uh, Newcastle at home. So there's not really any games that are dead cert wins. What is a dead cert win at Man United anymore? But, you know, there, there isn't. There really, really isn't. So for me, it is clearly about just trying to put... You've got to get these six points on the board in this period because, I again, I don't want to sound pessimistic and I said I probably wouldn't have been in the video, but you don't know where our next win's going to come from. Like, you know, I'm saying, we have to go back to the Everton game for us to have actually have won a game in the Premier League. You know how mad that is? You know how mad that is? It's ridiculous. Didn't beat Bournemouth. Didn't beat Liverpool. Didn't beat Brentford. Uh, I can't remember. There's one more in there who we didn't beat. You know, didn't beat Fulham. So, you know, it, the, the, the record's there. The record's there where we've been absolutely ballsing up and absolutely messing things up. But we've got to turn it around. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, not turn it around. We've got to put points on the board where you can. If you've got two teams at the bottom of the league coming to Old Trafford in consecutive games, you have to put six points on the board and just go from there. Do you know what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. Up front, I mean, oh, come on, Rasmus. I need, I, need, I need him to be more involved. I need him to get some chances. I think Eric Ten Hag in this game, I think Bruno will be all right. I think Garnacho will be all right. So I think, and I don't think Rashford will. I think what we're going to see is Eriksen, Bruno, Mainu, midfield. And then we're surely going to see Garnacho on the left, Hoyland up front, Ram, Anthony on the right with Ahmad to come off the bench because um, we're going to have to make some changes because there's not going to be once there's so many senior players there that as players get tired and remember there's another game on Saturday so we need to we need to keep the squad fresh as fresh as we can with no new injuries coming back returning so I think we're going to see at some point something quite surprising today actually because them players aren't all going to play 90 minutes Bruno's carrying a knock if we can get the game won and get him off well we thought that gets commentary but you get my drift um or, you know, if he has to play 90, that's going to be crazy. Ganacho, same thing. If he has to play 90, then go again on on Saturday. It's a, it's a tough ask. It's a tough ask when they're already blown out their ass and they're not 100% fit. So we will have to see some solutions today. So I'm actually kind of excited to see what the team is going to be, considering what we've got. So, yeah, Owen will be on the match view. Check that out. I'll get the reaction from Old Trafford as well. I'm going with a 2-1 Man United win. And I'll see you there. Peace.